Hi, in this video, I'm going to go over Michigan background check options. So if you come down to michiganpubliclerecords.org, I'll leave a link in the description or just type this into your browser. You uh, will notice on the front page you have public record databases alphabetized. So depending on what your background check is about, you might be able to locate certain databases here that would be useful to you. Again, it it just depends what the background check is about. Let's say you're trying to uh, look up a contractor and you want to see if he's got a criminal history and verify his license information. Quick little background check. Uh, you can do that uh, by using certain databases here. Now, we also have available uh, to you uh, specific pages. So if you hover over other records, these are like the most sought after record types. So anything from property records, warrant search, criminal records, and we got a background check page here. So I'll show you how this would work. So once you're on a specific page here, if you scroll down, you will notice statewide resources available. So anything from court records to the sex offender registry. If you go down, you will notice uh, county level records and so sometimes these are different uh, even the way you look up court records uh, sometimes is different on the on the uh, county level versus the statewide level or the way you even look at arrest information or uh, land records things like that so just depends on the type of a search you're doing sometimes it's uh, well it's better to use as much as many databases as you can but sometimes the only way to look at certain information is at the county level uh, for example if you were looking for current booking information you would just have to check the local uh, the local uh, website of like a sheriff's department or a police department so you're able to locate these types of links here uh, to help with your search another option you have available to you is if you hover over other records is you have different uh, can, different record types you could look at court records criminal records maybe an inmate search maybe you want to see if somebody's got a warrant out what type of property they own so it, you have quite a few things to consider uh, when it comes to background checks and again I, I don't know exactly what specifically you're using it for um, and I'm so I'm just talking about the very basic things that you have available to you at the state level now, one more uh, thing to consider is a private database, and this is an instant name search box that's on top. This uses both public and private records, so it doesn't just look at county or Michigan state uh, databases. It goes also outside the state, so it pulls all of these states, all of these different databases into a single system that's really easy to use. It's pretty much instantaneous, and so you're able to, let's say somebody has a criminal record or a financial a court record that might be of some consideration in another state, let's say uh, Oregon or Washington or California, whatever it may be, and now they move to Michigan, if you're just checking county records or state records, you're not necessarily going to see that information. And in some cases, maybe that's important. So that's something to consider. Uh, there's also private things in there like uh, potentially locating someone's cell phone information, uh, potentially maybe looking up previous addresses, things like that. So it, it uh, not on top of the public records, uh, you got quite a few other things that uh, can make your research uh, a whole lot better. So once again, uh, it's uh, michiganpubliclerecords.org. Come on down and get started on your Michigan background check. Thank you.